The Fiomia is one of the creatures of art that can spawn in the swamps and the coasts. On extinction, it can also spawn in the sanctuary, and on maps that are primarily desert, it can also spawn in some wet areas. Fiomias are passive creatures, meaning that if you attack them, they won't attack you. And as a matter of fact, if you do attack them, they'll also run away. Fiomias drop raw meat and hide when killed and harvested. Fiomias can be bolad, meaning that the bola is by far one of the best methods to tame this creature. Now, personally, I wouldn't tame a high level, mainly because the main utility for this creature, which we will be going over eventually, is not really worth for a high level creature. I'd rather go for a low level creature, like maybe in the 20s, 30s, 40s. Only time I would say it's good to tame a high level creature would probably be like when you're early game and you really need something to tame especially if you're in your like a hard area or something the best way to tame these creatures is definitely medro berries no need for the kibble you don't really need 100 percent efficiency on these guys for their utility Fiomias can be carried with argentavis so if, so if you have one tamed up feel free to carry your Fiomia to your base wild Fiomias can also be carried by argentavises once you've knocked out your Fiomia, make sure you go get your Medjo Berries. They can be harvested from plants. If you did knock out a low level or are trying to knock out a low level, you can also use your fists because a low level has very low torpidity and therefore can also be knocked out by, its, by your own fist. If you try to go for a higher level though, you're going to have to wait until level 21 or until you get a wooden club because you're going to have to knock it out with some sort of... Um, knocking out equipment. Now, Fiomias have extremely high metabolisms, so it's not going to take that long to tame up your creature regardless of level. I mean, it's only been 10 seconds since this guy's been knocked out, so it's very quick. Once you've tamed up your con creature, congratulate yourself because you've just tamed a very interesting creature. If you did not have an Argentavis, make sure to walk your Fiomia back to base. If you did, and it's in your base, just take it to where you're going to keep your Fiomia. Also, make sure to have extra berries on this guy because he is super hungry all the time. So even if you use the kibble, I'd immediately take that kibble out because it's going to be gone in two seconds after taming this guy. He is extremely hungry, like after being tamed. Although I did say that kibble is kind of useless for this guy, I will still give it to anyone who wants it anyway. So to make kibble, first you're going to need a cooking pot, so make sure you have that. Then you're going to need a full water skin. Then you're going to need to have some fuel to light the fire in the cooking pot. Then you're going to need an extra small egg. Best way to get that is through dodos. Then you're going to need one cooked meat, 10 amar berry, 5 medro berry, 10 tinto berry, and 5 fiber. This is exactly why I'd say the kibble is kind of useless for this creature. Because you don't need all that. So still best method to tame this creature is medro berries. If you do not have dodos, then you can also check the egg description of any eggs you have. The description will simply say, like, um, provides exceptional nutrition or basic nutrition. If it says basic nutrition, that egg can be used to make basic kibble. Keep an eye out for your egg descriptions to see if they can be used for basic kibble. The best thing to use with this Fiomia is to fill its inventory up with stem berries and then force feed them. Why do you want to force feed stem berries? Because as you can see, stem berries force the Fiomia to poop. This poop can be used for fertilizer to fertilize plants, making it much easier to get fertilizer. Combined with a dung beetle, this Fiomia can be very useful in making fertilizer, essentially getting infinite fertilizer. Be careful to not feed too much stem berries to your Fiomia though, mainly because your Fiomia can get starved very heavily from stem berries so make sure to keep some regular berries on your fiomia now what you should level up your fiomia with is mainly weight and food food to continue feeding it more stem berries and weight so it can hold any feces that a dung beetle can't hold and to hold more berries if your fiomia is outside though you might want to level up it for some health in case it gets attacked by a dialo so it can mainly survive the dialo Fiomias can also be ridden and can be used as mounts. The Fiomia saddle can be unlocked at level 5. 
making it the first saddle you can unlock in the game. To make the saddle, you need 20 hide, 15 fiber, and 5 wood. Although they can be mounted and ridden, ridden, it's not a very efficient mount. Since the main use for these guys is mainly for f to get poop and fertilizer from dung beetles from their poop, there really is no need to make this guy mount unless you're really early game. Even if you are early game, it's best not to use a low level. And the thing is, you're inf automatically going to get a much better creature after this Fiomia. Now, Fiomias can gather, gather thatch and wood though. So if you are early game, this could be a reason why you'd want a high level Fiomia. But do keep in mind, your Fiomia is going to be um, outdated once you get something better. Like immediately after you get something better than the Fiomia. So I even then, I'd still say it's not worth getting this Fiomia as a mount. While being ridden, they can also go through a lot of food. So if you are going to use a Fiomia as a mount, make sure that you have some berries in its inventory. Fiomias are mammals. So if you are going to breed them, you do not need any sort of fan or heat to incubate their eggs. Because their babies are basically incubated inside of them through gestation. To get baby Fiomias, all you're going to need is a male and a female Fiomia, and just wait until the baby is fully gestated and pops out of the mother. Now, note to those on like PvP and official servers, my server is boosted, and it's a single player server, meaning that my stats are much more quicker, and it's much quicker to tame creatures. Now, for people on those servers like PvP, or like multiplayer, it's going to be much harder and grindier to tame stuff it's going to take longer so although i did so although this is a low level creature my fiomia was level 15 it's still going to take a lot longer to tame your fiomia regardless of level mainly because of your stats so keep that in mind when taming your fiomia however that still does not discredit the information in this video for arc mainly because it's still usable it's just going to take a lot longer than you've seen in this video also, Ark Mobile and Ark Survival Evolved are the same game. However, Mobile Edition is different than the standard Ark Survival Evolved. So many of the information in this video may not be true for Ark Mobile. So keep that in mind. This is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye. Have a great day.